Hey you guys, what is up? It's OG Senpai here today to review One Piece episode 642. So basically, uh, this episode of One Piece, it was, it was okay, it was nice. Uh, what happened in this episode added to the hype. However, the fight in itself, the whole thing when it comes to this episode was okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, you could have watched the episode and be like, okay, yeah, this is alright, this is an alright episode. Let's get on to the basics. So, pacing, animation, and short progression, pacing. It was, uh, it was okay. It was okay pacing. Um, it could have been a lot better, but there were some moments where they were just lagging. Like, it was just like, you see the ocean for a few seconds, and you go see Don Flamingo's face for a few seconds. No one's talking, it's just OST playing the entire time. It's like, oh my gosh. And I know why they did it, because, you know, obviously the end of this episode, you know, that's big, that's major. But still, I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, dude, come on, hurry it up, fuck. So, well, there's one piece anime, what are you gonna do? When it comes to the animation, the animation, I'm gonna give that okay plus. It was alright. It's nothing really major, nothing really important. And when it comes to sport progression, good plus. Because now we're actually getting into some deeper shit, which, mind you, it, it will mind fuck you. Probably already has, because, I mean, you know, this episode, I mean, it revealed something, and I'm gonna get to that later in the video. But let's get into the chapter review. So, basically, again, what happens with Luffy and the rest of the Father Gladiators, it was fun, but it really wasn't, like, I didn't like it as much as it normally would, because it it's basically just Luffy trying to keep his disguise intact, you know, saying, oh, I'm Luffy, I'm not Monkey D. Luffy, I'm not Straw Hat Luffy, and him trying to disguise his attacks, you know, it, before he was about to say, Gumu Gumu no Pistol, he's like, oh, no, that's a regular punch, you know, just normal punch, normal kick, stuff like that, and it's all just a high distance, guys, we see, of course, we see Cavendish, just salty ass, just comes in, you know, that's Straw Hat Luffy, no one believes him, and it's just, it's mainly just, for comedic relief, basically, like, no one Luffy fights in, fighting in there right now is important, right now, of course, uh, but anyways, um, when it comes to Law, so yeah, so that part was Luffy, it was comedic, it was okay, when it comes to Sanji and Violet, Sanji's doing the same thing pretty much Luffy's doing, just fighting off fodder and trying to get to either the ship, yeah, the Sunny, yeah, he's trying to get to the Sunny, and basically, he's just kicking to all these dudes, and he's talking a lot at the same time, He's like, look, Law, get the fuck out. I already told you this, man. Get the fuck out. Don't worry about this, man. Get, get the fuck out. And, you know, Law's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And we find out, apparently, that Sanji sees his flashback, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. I, the fact that you can actually, she, has the, she has the ability to see, for people to see flashbacks, that's actually pretty damn cool. I like that a lot. But basically, we find out, according to her flashback power, that... Doflamingo technically did not really resign for Shishibu guy. It was all a trick, all a ploy, just a trick of straw hats. And he basically it fooled the entire world. Even the Marines. No, the Marines thought that it was true. And they sent Fuji Tour after his ass. Like, dude, so what the fuck? So, the fact that they actually sent, actually that Doflamingo fooled the entire world, just to fool 10 or so pirates. It's like, that's insane. Because, you know, that, that's the only person Mind you, you could do something like this, it's the Celestial Dragons, and that's hinted at the end of the episode. So basically, Sanji's just trying to tell him to get the fuck out, and he's probably heading towards the ship to go help, uh, watch it. Does he know that? No, he doesn't know about the ship yet. But, uh, he basically, he's just trying to get out of Death Rosa, he's trying to get, well, not to get out of Death Rosa, but he's trying to get out of Doflamingo's subordinates way. And, the, and when it comes to Law, we see Law immediately strikes three. When it's Law, here's the shit. Everyone was like, oh shit, we see, we see, uh, Dolph Domingo using his skywalk, flying through, in comes in the marines, now the marines, that's the part where I gotta talk about, so um, Sakazuki, aka Akainu, this dude is pissed, you can see from his Denden Mushi, cause Denden Mushi can reveal the emotions of the peak speaker on the phone, he looks pissed, now normally, he always was pissed, but this time it's a serious amount of piss, to the point where he says, yo, we were informed about this, no one told us about this plan, I need to go talk to the girls, so that's what I need to talk to, I need to talk about the girls, so I need to talk to those niggas, and, of course, the girls say, if that means the head of the world government, technically, they need to be talked to, so, uh, because, you know, I kind of like, what the fuck is going on, because, you know, he fooled the entire marine headquarters, he fooled, um, he, like, he 
basically tricked the entire Marine, on, you know, our Marine force. And it was like, dude, it's like, who, who has this type of power? Even if he's a Shishibukai, a pirate, and, well, a pirate, well, a wealthy pirate, a Shishibukai, and a, and a king, who has this type of power? So it's like, dude, it's like, that's insane. So, when it comes to the whole thing with law, yeah, law is fucked, pretty much. Because that means that because uh, Doflamingo is still Shishibukai, that also means that Law is fucked really bad. Because normally, okay, even though Law was fucked from the beginning, because Fujitora coming over the green bit, that's just that's just one admiral. Law probably wouldn't win, but it's only one admiral. I mean, Law can hold him off, and then Law can try and escape. So you know, you know, there's no there's no winning, but at least Law can hold one admiral off, just for, even if it's for just a little while. But now Doflamingo is on his ass. Doflamingo and Fujitora are all on on Law. Because, you know, they're technically on the same side again. So, it's bad on Law's part. We see Robin's, um, punk around the ground. Apparently, yeah, we already know, they're underground. They can't come and help out Law right now. But basically, they're, they're, they're going to try and um, escape via their own way. And Law's going to head out the other way. Now, what the fuck do we want? So, listen, alright. Doflamingo, obviously, is one crazy-ass motherfucker. And the fact that he had the power to fool the entire world, just to fool the Straw Hats, Law, and of course Momonosuke and uh, Kinemon, you're like, dude, who is this guy? And of course, when you think about it, it was perfect, because when CP0 came in the morning, before the Straw Hats even came there, and were informed the citizens about what happened, and told them to keep it a secret, and of course, to make sure, and telling them, you know, Dos Domingo really isn't resigning, he's still a Shishibukai, and he's still your king. He made sure that the addition to the newspaper was made the exact moment that Dofo Mingo came up on the Three o'clock. Three o'clock, the, um, the real newspaper's about to come out with all the stuff, all the real stuff, you know, all the, um, true shit, and, you know, the actual stuff that's true, and at the same time, Dofo Mingo's exchange is supposed to go on. So it's like, dude, that's some crazy ass shit. How is Doflamingo that smart to think, okay, if I have to go somewhere at 3 o'clock, but I'm screwed if I go there but without this kind of help, I need to form a plan. And he did that shit. And I'm like, dude, Doflamingo is the smartest motherfucker on that I've ever fucking seen. Now, when it comes to what La was hinting at, we basically see a flashback from Punk Hazard with Virgo. And Virgo, this was like, dude, this is bad as shit. Like, you, this is old as foreshadowing at work. And I'm not salivating, I'm like, dude, this is insane. He basically says, you don't know anything about Law's past. No, 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 you don't know anything about Doflamingo's past. And that will fuck you over in the end. And you're like, dude, he's totally correct. Because now, not only does Law have to fight against an animal, he has to fight against an animal and Doflamingo, who we can consider might actually be a near admiral level. So I'm like, bro, that's insane. So it's like, he, Law is pretty much fucked. Unless he can find a way to escape by some shape or means, um, man, it, it, it's going to go down. Either ne I'm telling you, man, it has to go down next episode. I don't want to just skip. I don't, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't skip after this. Like, I'm pretty sure that we will see what happens with F F Doflamingo, Fujitora, and Trial Fogger Law. A three, like, it's not even a three-way, it's a two-on-one attack. And that's gonna be crazy because the Marines are there, the Flamingos there. It's like fuck, man. Like you but get the fuck out. Like and basically, so we see that, and obviously the law is hinting. Okay, because he we did all this, are you some kind of celestial dragon? Are you some kind of world noble? And the was like, uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of complicated. You know, it's kind it's kind of complicated. But he didn't say yes or no. So whether or not it's true, we don't know for sure. But you can assume maybe yes, because you think about it, the celestial dragons themselves are the only other people who can do that shit because of their bloodline, them being the descendants of the people who created the world government in the first place. So for that to happen, it's like, damn. So it's like, we, we don't know for sure. And plus, when he says it's complicated, it's probably going to be like a huge backstory. You know, it's obviously going to be really complicated. We know that for a fact. 
but uh but that's where the chapter ends the the episode i'm sorry ends off and then we see doflamingo say look there's only one thing on my mind right now and it's to kill yuga and one more thing before i end the um review i like how doflamingo talks about how to manipulate people because he preys on the fact that people would say something so ridiculous or something so crazy and he preys on that and he actually took that to his advantage and i think that's important because when you take a look at it um when you take a look at villains of any series they need to just be more than just strong they need to be cunning they need to be smart they need to think on the same level if not higher than the same level as the protagonist so if a villain thinks that same way you can tell that he's a really good villain and the fact that Dolph Lamingo is extremely powerful at least from what we've seen so far He's a really good villain, at least so far. And when it comes to him versus Crocodile, I mean, you guys pick who's better. I don't really care. But what I do care about, I don't really know who it is. So I thought that was really good. So I'm going to give this episode a rating of good. It was a good episode of One Piece. You know, the whole hints and stuff, it made it a good episode. Uh, the fodder fighting, I didn't really like that much, but it's whatever. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like the video if you like it. Just like it if you don't. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Oji Senpai, and I'm out. Peace, guys.